Hi, this is Ray Shekas with ILF, and I'm here at Mageko Salon Boutique in Fullerton, California. It's a beautiful boutique, and we'd like to thank Margarita for allowing us to uh, showcase Ani's art here, Ani Grikovica. She's the artist that we're, uh, again, I, like I said, showcasing her artwork here, and we're going to briefly uh, interview her, and we're going to have all the Lithuanians in the international community be introduced to this lovely artist and cousin of mine, Ani Grikovicius. So Ani, let's get started. Uh, how did you get into art and describe what type of schooling and uh, anything that inspired you to become an artist? Well, I think that the Lord put it in my heart as a small child. It was a way to get out of um, uh, situations, just to go into my own little world and it started out by just drawing on paper bags and uh, moved onward and upward from there. And uh, when you were beginning in art and as you progress in your uh, craft, what mediums and type of art were you involved with? And just give us a, a brief description of the things that you did. Well, I've done a lot of clay work. I've thrown pottery. I've done hand building. I've done oil painting where I did an oil painting once that was for the bicentennial of our uh, United States. It was a huge oil painting that a girlfriend and I did. And uh, I've dabbled in pretty much everything. I've, I've tried so many different mediums it's hard to even keep track, but I still do. So. Wow. And the art pieces that you have displayed and showcased that are here uh, describe the method of creating them and what inspired these types of uh, pieces. Well, these particular pieces that I've done here are all done on recycled uh, canvases and or frames whatnot. I uh, start out with just using the acrylics uh, blue, blue color, and then from there, because it's like I'm going under the water, mm -hmm. and then when I reach the blue color background that I like very much, then I uh, add uh, uh, images in white as a contrast, and then I also add some gold touches to it. So it's kind of basically going underwater. And underwater. <laughs> yeah, underwater. <laughs> and what are you working on currently now, and what do you have planned for the future? Well, I would like to, right now I'm doing some painting on shells, like they're about like this big shell, and um, I'm painting, they're like a, a huge scallop shell-like, mm -hmm. and I'm painting uh, mermaids and underwater scenes on those, and I drill a hole in them, and I'm going to be hanging them with beads and chains, so they'll be a three-dimensional piece. Oh, that'll be very nice, kind of like a, what did they call them in the past? Not a collage, but a, a mobile. Kind of. kind of. Oh, right, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, mobile. I haven't said that or thought of that in decades. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. More. And as uh, many might know, Ani has a pretty extensive music background and uh, being creative as, in art as well. Uh, describe your music career and just briefly, uh, as you can describe what you did in the past, but what are you planning to do musically in the future? Well, um, I, I'm currently and have been with the three Sesutas Krikavichutas, and hopefully we can uh, sing more songs to entertain the Lithuanian people, which I know that they enjoy. We also enjoy it all as well. Right, right, we right. really love it. Do I get to be in? You sure can. Uh, that was, yeah. Anyway, I, sure I've been can. practicing with them, so uh, yeah, we're working on that one. Okay, let me see. Where are we? And uh, anything else that you'd like to add about your current um, uh, showcase of your art and or uh, what, or I have a question. Are you planning to do, uh, I'll back up. Did you have shows in the past and are you planning to have shows in the future of your art? I have never had a show. This is my very first show. The inspiration came and it manifested into this, what it is today. And I want to continue it. I want to continue going to art walks in different cities and, mm -hmm. um, you know, just doing more. Right. It's, it's, it's letting out my emotions and my inspiration. So it's very all nice. good. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. And uh, our signature questions that we have are, we'll start with, what does it mean to you to be a Lithuanian? It's life, my life. I love it. I'm very, very proud. Um, it's it's wonderful. It's a blessing to be Lithuanian. I love it. 
and um, that's pretty much it on that one. I okay. Guess. And what is your favorite Lithuanian food? I have two. I love Tsepelinas and I love Karka. Karka? So, Kasira Karka. That's a smoked uh, 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 ham hock. Oh, okay. And then is it in a soup or is it just... How it's, does a it smoked, it's a smoked ham hock that, that's been smoked and boiled, I believe. I think it's smoked and boiled. But it's absolutely delicious. They serve it at the restaurant Red Lion. Oh, there you in, go. In, in, in Glendale, yeah. Well, there's a plug for Red Lion. We would like to thank Margarita for hosting this showcasing of Anya's art, as well as this interview of Miss Grikava Chuta. And please stop by and visit her beautiful little boutique here in Old Town Fullerton and maybe get some face makeup done and or purchase a nice outfit because they are very beautiful. Well, this is Ray Shekas with ILF, I am Lithuania, Dot com or I am letomi.com and we hope you have a pleasant evening. Achoo. Take care. Bye bye.